Hi everyone. Do you let circumstances define you? Do you let circumstances in your life really affect your day to day and how you're living your own life? And I, I know the answer is yes for most of you, especially for you moms, um, but really for all of us. And so today I wanna talk about that. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Sally Harris and this channel exists because I am a firm believer that every mom deserves a support system during this difficult time. And with that being said, you know, I personally walked a difficult road with my own daughter for over 10 years. And while her life was crazy spiraling out of control, you know, mine did the same. And it does not have to be that way. And so now I have the honor of walking alongside several moms and walk them into health and wholeness as well. And so today let's chat about the subject of how circumstances can define you. Um, you know, the, the, when circumstances happen, those things are out of our control, right? There's things that happen that are out of our control that I know for a fact you would say, yes, you're right, that is out of my control. Like for example, number one, the weather. How many of you have control over the weather? If you do, <laughs> you can take the humidity out of here. Um, but logically, you know that you can't control the weather, right? My second example is our past. Can we change our past? Do we have control over our past? Of course not. We can't go back. You know, we may have had control in the moment of our, of our own life in the past, but looking backwards, looking hindsight, we can't make any changes. What's done is done. Uh, we can only move forward and, and fix those things that need fixing. And then the last example here, number three, is other people's behavior. And I know a lot of you, including myself, I definitely went through this, is you are holding on to so much perceived control that you have over your adult son or daughter. And I think, I know that you believe that, you know, it was your responsibility to care for them and, and make sure that they grew up to be productive, amazing human beings and some of you are not seeing that in them right now. And so you think that you have the control to change their behavior and to change their trajectory, right? Um, you don't, you don't. And it's for some reason, us moms seem to think that we have the control over our kids. However, you know, I know I don't have control over you and I know that you don't have control over me, right? So my behavior is not your responsibility and your behavior is not my responsibility, but yet you put children in the mix and we, for some reason, seem to think that that's just so much different when in reality, it's the same. We have obviously a closer relationship with our kids than you have with me or with someone else. And because we raise them from birth, usually on up or as a kid on up, and therefore we instill all these values and hopes and dreams. And sometimes those hopes and dreams are ours and not theirs, um, including faith sometimes too. And so they need to make all of this their own. And when they do make it their own, um, you know, then they're gonna be able to walk in health and wholeness themselves. And as they grow and make better decisions versus what they're making right now. And so I hope that helps just kind of putting it into perspective. You know, when I thought about it this way, it's I realized, you're, you know what? We don't have control. It's obvious that we don't have control over the weather. We don't have control over our past. But still, for some reason, moms tend to think that they have control over their kids. And honestly, that was the most freeing moment for me when my um, it was a true catalyst. One of the catalysts for change for me is realizing I did not have control over my daughter. And when I came to grips with that, everything changed. So uh, I hope that helps. Um, for those of you that are interested in um, having a conversation with me, all, all of the, everything I do starts with a discovery call. Whether you're looking at um, my membership or you're looking at one-on-one -on -one coaching, everything starts with a discovery call, 30-minute um, mm -hmm. conversation together, and we talk through, you know, what's going on with your situation, but also what's going on with you as a mom. How is it affecting you? And then I can let you know what my recommendation is on how I could help. So if you're interested in that, you can click the link below for discovery call and I'll hope to talk to you soon.